congratulate I'm an assistant professor of education here at Drake University. Um, when asked to present a book, uh, one of my favorites, uh, didn't have to think about it. So the first book that came to mind was Confederacy of Dunces by John Kennedy Toole. So uh, I first learned about the book in college myself. So a good friend of mine who's also a librarian now um, told me about the book and says, you got to read this. And so I always like a good recommendation from that. And he said, I, I first learned about it in college. And I've probably read it about every year since. It's one of those books that you keep going back to, you know, like, like just like with the Christmas album or, you know, certain things like that. Um, but I really liked it. Um, probably what I really like about it, first off, and what's critical for any book, is just the characters. So a very eccentric group of characters in there. Um, the the uh, Ignatius P. Riley is the main character in there. And uh, I say eccentric is probably the polite word, but very odd man. Um, very, very smart, but also a little bit lazy. So I think a lot of college, I think that's probably why I related to it in college as well, uh, just kind of combating those two things as, you know, as a college student too. Um, but he lives with his mother, who's equally as off as he is, and he has a beatnik girlfriend. So it's, it takes place in the 1960s. So but between the three of them, um, it's an amazing, amazing cast there in the book too. Um, the other thing that really drew me into the book as well was the setting. So it takes place in New Orleans. So my dad from southern Louisiana, so I've been to New Orleans a handful of times before reading it. So I had some immediate kind of ties with it. could recognize the places that he talked about or the settings, things. And, uh, and, but the French Quarter is always, if you've ever been, there's lots of things that can happen there, especially with an eccentric character too. Uh, but again, something that I really liked the sense about the book. And it takes place in the 1960s, as I mentioned earlier. So, so just the times are different than they are now. Uh, people were, were exploring, they were learning new things. Everything was kind of up to question. So um, having an eccentric character in such a strong city like New Orleans allowed for a really, really great, a really great story. Um, the other thing, too, that I really liked about the book, too, was just the author. Um, sometimes the backstory on how a book is written also draws me into why, in a sense, I really liked it. Uh, the book was actually published after the author, John Kennedy Toole, passed away. Um, his mother found the manuscript um, written on big chief tablets and with the help of a university professor, kind of compiled it together, um, put it out, published it, and he won the Pulitzer Prize for it, too, in the 1980s as well. So, um, again, just the backstory is really interesting. So, um, unfortunate that he died as early as he did, as young as he did. Um, but the one thing I like, that since I know that they found it after he had already passed away, that the idea that he may have another book out there and it might surface again, too, is always kind of an interesting thing to keep in mind. So um, I said, that's why I like the book. So it's uh, recommended by a friend. Great setting. Um, really, really funny characters. And it's a really just kind of interesting story on how it was written. So I think you'll enjoy it, too.